Animal Mechanical Mission Time! Animal Mechanicals, we Animal Mechanical can! Rex Mechana Strong! Unicorn Mechana Fly! Komodo Mechana Gizmo! Sasquatch, Makana Stretchy! Animal Mechanicals, Makana, can we do it? We Animal Mechanical can! We Animal Mechanical can! Puffer Cloud Island. Mechanical Mission Time! Good morning, Animal Mechanicals! Good morning, Island Owl! Very big mission today! Yes! Your destination is Puffer Cloud Island, home of the amazing Puffer Cloud Machine! I wanted to see how puffer clouds get made. That's the problem. The puffer cloud machine isn't feeling well, and the puffy pink clouds that usually float in the sky are all sitting on the ground instead. Not good. Your mission is to help the puffer cloud machine feel better and get those clouds back into the sky again. Mechana, can you do it? We animal mechanical can! Puffer Cloud Island. And there's the Puffer Cloud Machine. Poor thing. It does sound sick. I thought clouds were supposed to float up, not down. When the Puffer Cloud Machine feels good, that is precisely where the clouds go. Up in the sky. The mighty Sasquatch will make them go up. Sasquatch, no! You can't just toss a cloud back into the sky! Uh-oh. Wow! <laughs> you know what? <laughs> you can't just toss a cloud back into the sky. I knew that. Don't worry, clouds. We'll find a way to help you float in the sky again. Look! That little blue cloud is all by itself. Hey, little cloud, how come you're all alone? Boop, boop, boop. It says it feels different from the other clouds. They're all pink, but he's blue. Being blue's not a bad thing. Come and meet our friends. See? This is Sasquatch, and he's blue just like you. I am? All right, I am. And I'm pink. And I'm yellow. As you can see, I am red. Glorious bright red. I think it's the color of genius. <laughs> and look at me. I'm green. We're all different colors. And it's okay to be different. In fact, it's fun to be different. Feel better, little puffer cloud? Bloop, bloop, bloop. Now, let's get that puffer cloud machine working again. <laughs> let's see now. To make clouds, the machine sucks air in through this tube. But something is not quite right. Okay now, machine. Take a nice deep breath in. Just as I suspected, something is definitely clogging up this tube. Then we need to unclog it somehow. Let's remove the tube and have a look inside to see what's blocking it. We need some kind of big wrench to take the tube off. Who would carry around a wrench? Uh, Nobody. That's who. Uh-oh. Um. Oh, right. You would carry a wrench. <laughs> Komodo! <laughs> Makana Gizmo! <laughs> nope. Uh-uh. Oh, my 
flower. Here we go. One mighty McKenna wrench to the rescue. Tool time is cool time. One more turn and... Komodo did it! Now we can find out what's stuck inside. My arms aren't long enough to reach very far. <sighs> Neither are mine. How are we going to reach far enough to find the problem? We need someone who has arms that stretch. Someone who has arms that stretch? That would be hard to find. Uh -oh. Oh, wait a minute. I have arms that stretch. <laughs> Stand aside and behold the mighty Sasquatch. Makana Stretchy. Something stuck inside. Do you think you can push it out the other side, Sasquatch? Animal mechanicals can do anything. There's plenty of stretch left in these arms. Sasquatch, be careful. Oh, sorry, Komodo. <laughs> That's all right. Sasquatch, you did it! Yay! It appears a rock block was sucked into the tube by accident. No wonder the puffer cloud machine wasn't feeling very well. Okay, team, let's put the machine back together and see if it works. All right, puffer cloud machine, you're as good as new. That sounds better. It's working! The clouds are floating! Boop, boop, boop. Not all the clouds are floating. What can we do to help these other clouds that are still on the ground? We can't just throw them into the sky, right, Sasquatch? <laughs> oh. <laughs> right. I knew that. Is there another way to help get the clouds back into the sky? Nope. It's impossible. Nothing's impossible for animal mechanicals. Unicorn! going to help get you into the sky, but then it's up to you to float on your own. Can you do it? Awesome! Unicorn is using her magic horn to make wind to blow the clouds up into the sky. Way to go, clouds. Now you're floating on your own. The little blue cloud still doesn't want to go. It feels too different from the other clouds. Don't worry, little blue cloud. Being different is what makes you special. Yes, we're all different. We each have different powers. That's right. Yeah. What's your special power, blue cloud? Boop, boop. You don't know? That's OK. I'm sure you'll discover it soon. So, are you ready to fly? Boop, boop, boop. Bye, little blue cloud. And remember, being different is being special. Well, the puffer cloud machine is working again, and all the clouds are in the sky. Animal Mechanicals, mission accomplished. Yay! Yes! Wait, uh -huh. Look! The little blue cloud is a rain cloud. That's what makes it different and special. Yay, blue cloud! Bloop, bloop. The rain made these pretty flowers grow. Thanks, Blue Cloud. Bloop, bloop. Look! 
More blue clouds! And that means more rain! McKenna, can we stay and play in the rain? We animal mechanical can! <laughs> <laughs> Makana Tortoise Island. Animal Mechanical Mission Time! Good morning, Animal Mechanicals. Good morning, Island Owl. Very big mission today. Yes. Your destination is McKenna Tortoise Island. Oh boy, I love tortoises. The McKenna Tortoises are having a special birthday party today. A birthday party? That means yum yum birthday cake. And I love birthday cake. <laughs> so do I, Rex. But there's a problem. This is the birthday tortoise. He's very old and very slow. He's so slow, he won't make it to his own birthday party on time. Oh, no! That would be terrible! Your mission is to make sure the birthday tortoise gets to his party on time. And to eat birthday cake? <laughs> yes, that too. McKenna, can you do it? We animal mechanical can! McKenna Tortoise Island. And look, there's the birthday party. It's not so far. <sighs> I can smell the cake from here. But where's the birthday tortoise? Hmm. Here, tortoise, tortoise, tortoise. <laughs> but that rock is haunted. <laughs> Sasquatch? That's not a rock. It's the birthday McKenna tortoise. Oh, right. I knew that. Hey, Komodo, don't be scared. The haunted rock is really the tortoise. Isn't that great? <sighs> Mr. Tortoise, we're here to help you get to your party. Yeah. Are you ready to have some fun? <laughs> oh, look at his little party hat. I love tortoises. Come on, let's get to the cake. Uh, <laughs> I mean, the party. Hmm, Island Owl was right. The McKenna tortoise is very slow. Remember, team, our mission is to get the tortoise to his party on time. Not a problem. The mighty Sasquatch will get his new tortoise friend there on time! Sasquatch, stop! The McKenna tortoise is afraid of you pushing him! Oh, sorry about that, Mr. Tortoise. I was just trying to help. If we could get the tortoise to the edge of this hill, he could slide down the hill to the party. We just have to come up with a way to move him from over there to over here. Without pushing him. He doesn't like being pushed. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Careful of that log, Sasquatch. It might roll. No! <laughs> Careful of that log, Komodo. It rolls. I knew that. Sasquatch, that's it. If the McKenna tortoise was on top of some logs, we could roll him to the hill. That would be faster than him walking. Except, there aren't many logs around here. Only trees. But logs are made from trees. If we cut down some of the trees, we'd have some logs. Cut down trees? I don't see any way to do that. Oh, no. Leave that to me. Komodo! Gizmo! 
Can a tortoise onto the logs. It's okay, Mr. Tortoise. We won't hurt you. If you just step onto the first log and tuck your legs in, we'll roll you to the slope. Then you can go for a fun slide. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Brilliant. Yippee! Yeah! Okay, team. Let's roll. Ready, Mr. Mechanic Tortoise? Oh, oh, oh. The logs are rolling him along. One more easy push and... There he goes! into his own birthday party if he doesn't stop. We've got to stop my little buddy. But he's big and heavy. We can't stop him. Animal mechanicals can do anything. Rex! McKenna strong! Need something to hold onto. Rex is doing it. He's slowing the mechanotortis down. I can't look. Whew. Just in time. Uh-oh. It looks like there's another problem. The mechanic tortoises can't reach the birthday piñata. It's too high up in that tree. Oh, no! How are they supposed to get the goodies out of the piñata if they can't reach it? We need a way to reach all the way up to that piñata. Forget it. We don't have anything that could do that. <laughs> We don't have anything, but we do have someone. Who can stretch? Who? Oh, right. Me. I can stretch up to get it. Sasquatch. Makana stretchy. A big rubber monkey. Here you go, Mechanic Tortoises. Now you can reach the pinata. We got the Mechanic Tortoise to his birthday party on time. Animal Mechanicals, mission accomplished. Birthday cake, yum. Mechanic, can we stay and have some, please? Pretty please with a cherry on top. Oh, can we, can we? We animal mechanical can. Oh! 
McKenna Cuckoo Clock Island. Animal Mechanical Mission Time! Animal Mechanicals. Good morning, Island Owl. Very big mission today. Yes. Your destination is McKenna Cuckoo Clock Island. That sounds fun. It is fun. But unfortunately, the big cuckoo clock there has mysteriously stopped telling time. Poor cuckoo clock. Because the clock has stopped, everything on the island has stopped too. Not good. Your mission is to get the cuckoo clock to tick-tock again. McKenna, can you do it? We Animal Mechanical can! Let's go! Yes! Canna Cuckoo Clock Island! Hmm. It's just like the Island Owl said. Everything on the island has stopped moving. Over there! It's the Cuckoo Clock! I see it! There's the big hand and the little hand. Don't you just love clocks with all those numbers, Rex? Numbers? Uh, yeah, sure. Numbers are fun. Hey! Some of the numbers are missing. That has to be why the clock isn't working. I don't think so, Mouse. I am sure that missing numbers are not the reason the cuckoo has stopped working. No? No. You must be right, Komodo. You know so many things. That I do. For instance, I know that a McKenna cuckoo clock has a McKenna cuckoo bird inside its belly. Do you mean there's a bird in there? No way! Sasquatch, wait! McKenna cuckoos have very sensitive stomachs! Woohoo! <laughs> Little cuckoo bird! Hello! Oh no, the McKenna doors! Sasquatch, duck! Duck? I thought you said it was a bird, not a duck. <laughs> Bird. It's trying to open the doors. Oh, oh. Maybe it wants to tell us how to fix the clock. Huh. Huh. Nope. Those doors are stuck shut. <laughs> it's okay, Cuckoo Bird. We'll get the doors open for you. Looks like we need some kind of tool to pry the doors apart. A tool? That sounds like a job for... Komodo! <laughs> Makata! Straight and sturdy McKenna screwdriver to the rescue! Handy dandy tool time! You know, next time, you might want a duck. Right. We'll never get the cuckoo clock to work if its cuckoo bird flies away. We have to catch it. But the bird's so high in the sky. How would we catch up to it? Flying high in the sky is my kind of job. Unicorn! McKenna, fly! Tree? Did you leave me here on purpose? Cuckoo! <gasps> I get it! You're 
trying to tell me that we need to pick the numbers from the tree and put them back on the clock, aren't you? Cuckoo! Come on, let's go tell the others. <sighs> What's the matter, Rex? Okay, I'll admit it. I don't like this mission very much because, uh, I'm not very good with numbers. That's okay. You're really good at other things. You're the best lifter and digger. I know, but I've had lots of practice doing that stuff. Hmm. Then maybe you just need a little practice with numbers. Look! Unicorn is back! I think the cuckoo bird wants us to replace the missing numbers on the clock. Cuckoo! That was my idea, too! Hmm. I'm sure that replacing numbers won't fix the problem. Well, I think it's worth a try. But how would we even figure out what numbers we need? I know. Clocks have 12 numbers. We just need to count from 1 to 12, and then we'll know what numbers are missing. And get some good practice, too. I'll start counting. One, two, three, four. Four is there, and after four comes... Um, five. Five comes after four. Cuckoo. Hey, wait, the five isn't there. No number five, but number six is all set. And seven. Come on, Rex. What's after seven? Um, eight, right? Eight. Then comes nine. <gasps> but look! The nine is missing, too. Yep, but I see the ten. Eleven is okay, and so is the... Twelve! Animal Mechanicals, this clock is missing numbers five and nine. Mechana, can we replace them? We Animal Mechanical can! Come on, Cuckoo Bird. Let's grab those numbers and fix that clock. Cuckoo, cuckoo! Five, nine. All right. I am still doubtful these missing numbers will make any difference at all. But we have to try. Nobody's tall enough to reach way up there. Someone is. If they stretch... Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, right. I can stretch that far. Sasquatch! <laughs> Makana Stretchy! First the five. <laughs> and now for the nine. Okay, Cuckoo Clock. Start tick-tocking. Hmm, it's not working. I told you, those numbers are not the problem. <sighs> oh, well, I guess I was wrong. Hmm, something doesn't seem quite right to me. Six, seven, Eight, six, ten. <gasps> Wait, the numbers are the problem. Look, there are two number sixes on the clock. That number nine is upside down. Rex is right. <gasps> See, six, nine. Mouse, I owe you a big apology. Missing numbers were exactly the problem. You were right all along. Thanks, Komodo, but I couldn't have solved the problem without Rex. Then you're both number experts! Animal Mechanicals, mission accomplished! Mechanic, can we go to the number tree and practice counting more numbers? We Animal Mechanical Cat! Wish Island.
Animal Mechanical Mission Time! Good morning, Animal Mechanicals! Good morning, Island Owl! Very big mission today! Hooray! Your destination is Shimmerwish Island. That's where the Shimmerbots live. And the Shimmer Queen, who flies into the sky every night and lights up her wings for everyone to see. Everyone makes wishes on the Shimmer Queen star. Yeah, every night I wish to be the biggest, handsomest hero there is. And every morning, my wish comes true. <laughs> <laughs> but there's a problem. The Shimmer Queen is trapped in a nasty sucker cup bush. Unless you can rescue her, she won't be able to shine in the sky. So there'll be no wish-making tonight or ever again. No wishes? Not good. Your mission is to free the Shimmer Queen. Mechanic, can you do it? We Animal Mechanical can! Island. Hey, Chew! What are these pesky things? Those are the Shimmer Bots that help the Shimmer Queen. I believe they like you. I'm not so sure I like them back. I see lots of sucker bushes, but which one is the Shimmer Queen stuck in? Look! The Shimmer Bots know where she is. In there. Hang on, Shimmer Queen! The mighty Sasquatch to the rescue! Sasquatch, wait! Stop! I wouldn't go in there if I were you! Uh. Sucker bush sucker cups are very sticky! Uh-oh. <laughs> Yikes! I can't move forwards or backwards. Now what do I do? I give up. Animal Mechanicals never give up. You can do it, Sasquatch. Phew. You know what? I wouldn't go in there if I were you. Sucker bush sucker cups are very sticky. Huh. I've decided I don't like sucker cup bushes much. I'm with you, pal. Those bushes are pretty tricky to get past. I could fly over them, but we all need to get past the bushes to rescue the queen. Maybe we could clear some sort of path to the queen. Hmm. It will take a mighty plow to clear a path through those sticky sucker bushes. A plow? Where would we find a plow around here? Did you say plow? This is a job for... Rex! McKenna Strong! Time. Stand back. <laughs> Woohoo! I love watching Rex push heavy stuff around. He's strong like a rugged rhinoceros. Yay! There! Path cleared! Yay! Don't worry, Your Majesty. 
We'll have you free in no time. The mighty Sasquatch making it happen. cups are even bigger and stickier than the little ones. It's going to get dark soon. We have to hurry. Maybe we could use some sort of tool to help pry the queen loose. A tool? In the middle of these bushes? Tools are my specialty. Again. Ah, happy New Year! Ah, there we go. One spectacular spatula to the rescue. Handy dandy tool time. I must be very precise so I don't hurt your delicate wings. One wing free, your majesticness. Just one more to go. Huh? Who turned down the lights? Uh... Hmm. Now I can't see clearly. How are we going to unstick the Shimmer Queen if Komodo can't see to do his work? And if I don't get her free, there won't be a Shimmer Queen star. <gasps> if I can't make my favorite wish, I might not be the biggest, handsomest hero anymore. Ah, oh, the shimmer bot keeps shining light in my eyes. Light? Look, everyone, the shimmer bots are glowing. They're making light for us. Komodo, is it bright enough for you to see? Almost. I just need a little more light to see perfectly. Impossible. That's all the light we have. Nothing's impossible for animal mechanicals. Unicorn! Makeda fly! Okay, Your Majesty, let's do this. Almost done. She's so shimmery. Hooray! The Shimmer Queen star is shining again. It's beautiful. And so bright. Wow. Animal Mechanicals, mission accomplished. I want to make my wish. Me first. I wish I could be the biggest and handsomest hero there is. Hey, that's my wish. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm going to wish for a new gizmo attachment. You can have the big and handsome wish. Mechanic, can we all make wishes on the Shimmer Queen star? We, we animal mechanical can! Chugboat Island. Mechanical Mission Time! 
Good morning, Animal Mechanicals. Good morning, Island Owl. Very big mission today. Right, right. Your destination is Chugboat Island. I love to ride on a chugboat. Unfortunately, this island is very foggy, and the chugboats are all lost on the water. That's terrible. The island lighthouse has stopped working. That's why the chugboats don't know which way to go. They need the lighthouse light to see through the fog. Oh, no! We have to help them. Your mission is to get the lighthouse working again so the chugboats can find their way. McKenna, can you do it? We Animal Mechanical can! Chugboat Island. I wonder where the chugboats are. There, out on the ocean. I see them. Hey, chugboats, over here. I don't think they can see us. Just like Island Owl said, they're lost in the fog. We just have to fix the lighthouse. But where is it? There it is, the lighthouse. But the light looks like it's working to me. True. The light is working, but it's pointing in the wrong direction. It's pointing away from the chugboats. That won't help. What do you think is wrong? Usually the light in the lighthouse turns around in a circle. This light isn't turning. It must be stuck. And with the light pointed in the wrong direction, there's nothing to guide the chugboats through the fog. Well then, team, we know what we have to do. Get that light turning again. The lighthouse is on that little island. How can we get over there? Why don't we swim across? Swim? Um, isn't it kind of deep? Don't worry, Mouse. We'll find another way. Maybe we can ride on a chugboat. Hey, chugboat! Over here! Can you give us a ride, please? But the chugboats can't find us in the fog, remember? Oh, right. Well, if there was some sort of a bridge, we could all walk across. Hmm. I don't see anything we could use to build a bridge. I know! What about an ice bridge? But how would we make a bridge of ice? That sounds impossible. Nothing's impossible for animal mechanicals. Unicorn! McKenna Fly! At Unicorn Go! Yeah! One ice bridge coming up! She's making ice with her horn! Awesome! I did it! <laughs> yeah! Fascinating! A bridge made of ice! Oh, it's solid enough to cross now, but we need to hurry before it melts. Then there's no time to lose. Oh, um... Hey, Mouse, come on. What if I fall in the water? It's deep. You won't fall in, Mouse. I'll be here for you. You promise? I promise. Hurry up, you two. The ice is starting to melt! Hurry! Hurry! We made it! Thanks, pal. You gave us a soft landing. No problem. Come on, let's go check out the lighthouse. Hurry up, Komodo. This is no time to rest. Uh... Here we are, team. The lighthouse. Wow! Look 
Look at the bright lamp. We need to figure out how to get it to turn around. Fascinating. It appears this crank handle is connected to this large cog. But why? Maybe if we turn the crank, the light will turn too. Hmm, excellent suggestion. Nothing's happening. Hmm, perhaps this one cog should be connected to something else. I wonder what those pegs are for. And why are they each a different shape? Hey, you guys, what about these cogs? Maybe they fit on the pegs. Hmm, it is quite possible. We just have to figure out which cog fits which peg. But they all look the same to me. Look, the holes in the cogs are different shapes, just like the pegs. Circle, square, and that pointy shape. That's a triangle. Right, I knew that. All we need to do is match the shape inside the cog to the shape of the peg. This first peg is square-shaped. Then which cog should we use? I know. Try the square one. It fits. What's the next peg look like? It's a triangle shape. So that means we should use the one with the triangle. Got it. Perfect fit. I guess that means the last cog goes on to the last peg. The circle cog must fit with the circle peg. But where is one? Up there. But that circle peg is pretty far away. I wonder who do we know who can reach up that high? Hmm. That's a good question. Who do we know? Wait a minute. I know. <laughs> I can reach it. Behold, the mighty Sasquatch! Makana Stretchy! like a super duper spring! Yay! You did it! Now let's turn this crank! Uh, it's... it's not moving! We need someone really strong! Being strong is what I do best! Bricks! McKenna Strong! Rex do strong stuff. Look, the light is turning. It's working. Keep turning the crank, Rex. The tugboats can see the light. They aren't lost anymore. Yay! <laughs> Animal mechanicals. Mission accomplished. Wow! Just look at them. Mechanic, can we ask them for a tugboat ride? We animal mechanical can! Mechana Racer Island. Animal Mechanicals. Good morning, Island Owl. Very big mission today. Yes. Your destination is McKenna Racer Island. That 
That's where the McKenna Racers live. That's right. McKenna Racer Island is a big McKenna race course. And the McKenna Racers are about to have their best race ever. Goody! The McKenna Racers zoom through this fantastic race course to win the Rocket Cup trophy. Wow! But there's a problem. One of the McKenna Racers has had a breakdown and can't race unless he's fixed. Not good. Your mission is to fix the McKenna Racer so he can compete in the big race. McKenna, can you do it? We Animal Mechanical can! Racer Island! Look! McKenna Racers! McKenna Racers are amazing flyers! You're an amazing flyer, too! Not as amazing as them! McKenna Racers are quite impressive, but I wonder what happened to the missing racer? <gasps> what was that noise? It came from over there! It's a blue McKenna racer. Hello. Are you the one having trouble? Hmm. If I am correct, and I always am, this racer is in need of several new parts. He has a cracked wing, a dented nose cone, and a hole in his fuel tank. Don't worry, we'll find some new parts for you. Somewhere. Maybe there's something we can use in those lockers over there. Animal Mechanicals, checking it out. Yes! New parts! You were right, Mouse! Fascinating! Look! I'm a Mechana Racer, too! <laughs> Sasquatch, no! Holding a pair of wings will not help you fly! <laughs> Komodo, did you know that holding a pair of wings will not help you fly? Fascinating. Okay, team. Time to fit this racer with new parts. <clears throat> this purple wing doesn't fit. Hmm. That's funny. It's exactly like the other wing. Same shape, same size. But if the purple wing is the same in every way, it should fit perfectly. The two wings aren't exactly the same. They're different colors. True. The wing that fits is blue, and the wing that doesn't fit is purple. Of course! Mouse, you are a genius! The blue racer needs blue parts! Then it's a plan! Let's find the blue parts! We've got all the blue parts! Let's see if they fit! The blue nose cone fits! The blue fuel tank fits too! Now all we need is that other blue wing! It's got to be around here somewhere. There! I see it! It's way out of reach! That's a tight spot. <clears throat> My arms can't reach that far. Hmm, that's a big problem. I wonder who could reach all the way in there. Maybe someone with very stretchy arms? <laughs> Wait a minute. I just had an idea. I could stretch and reach it. Why didn't I think of that? Stand aside and behold, the mighty Sasquatch! Makana Stretchy! Stretch 
squishy like a fantastic elastic! I can do this! Just a bit further! Ugh. Yay, Sasquatch! Yes! It fits! There you go, pal. You're all fixed! Now you're ready for the big race! <laughs> Something's wrong with his engine! Hmm, let's have a look under the hood. <laughs> look how dirty it is in there! No wonder his engine conked out. Keeping clean is very important for staying healthy. You have to brush your engine every night, okay? Oh no! The race is about to start and the blue McCann eraser still doesn't work! Don't give up, little fella. We won't. We just need a bristly brush to clean out your dirty engine. I might have just the thing. Komodo! No? How did those get in there? Aha! One scrubby McKenna engine brush to the rescue! Tool time is cool time! Everyone, let's watch the race! Woohoo! I'm so excited! The race is about to start! Not quite yet. It looks like the racers are discussing something. They want you to join in the big race, Unicorn! Really? You want me to race with you? I can't believe it! I'm going to fly with the real Mechana racers! Unicorn! McKenna, fly! Race two! Sasquatch, no! Remember you can't fly? Hey, you know what? I can't fly. Right. Mechanic, can we watch the race instead? We animal mechanical 